Hey, what's up, Classic TV fans? My name is Rick Nig. Today we're going to be talking about The Munsters, the reboot that is being created by Rob Zombie. He's making a movie, turning a TV show into a movie, and we're taking a look at the progress. This is the third video in the series where we'll be taking a look at the progress, and I always want to remind you that I'm only going to put up things that have been confirmed by Rob Zombie himself. No speculation, nothing like that. Unless I look at something and tell you that these are my thoughts, these are my ideas, and we go into fun speculation. But other than that, I'm not going to want to speculate on this. Now, starting right away, I want to get into this image. This is really cool because we see a kind of a plaster cast molding that's being done. I love the color. I love the purple color. You can see, good thing this person has air holes that they're using for their nose so that they can breathe. But yeah, this is where you get the casting of an actor. You get basically all the grooves, um, all the little details in the head and face. It's a complete head sculpt, which is really interesting. So they get the mold there, they fill it, and then from there they could add things like big noses and so forth like that. So this is beginning on an actor. What is great is we don't know who the actor is, but it could be anyone. It could be for Herman, it could be for Grandpa, it could be for Lily, it could even be for Eddie. Um, or other actors themselves. There are a few more pictures that I think may give us clues, uh, but the mysteries continue. Now this is really interesting because again, all these pictures are from Rob and they're put in a series of images. And so we have the first one that I just showed you with the casting and now this one. And he's showing us, of course, a set of teeth that they've made. They're very interesting teeth. I'm kind of mentally trying to go through, hey, Whose teeth would these be? Would this be for Eddie and so forth? But if you look at the next picture, you'll see that the image is essentially solved as, of where these teeth are going into. But then I thought, wait, who's this character? Now, first we see a lot of things here. First of all, we see that the teeth are similar. I wouldn't they, they say they're the exact same, but they're very similar. So there's a very similar vibe there. And we get this zombie type look. Now we can be very sure in terms of my opinion that this is not Herman Munster, this is not Lily, this isn't Grandpa, this isn't Eddie. Now it could be a rehashing of them or a completely different look, maybe like a weird dream sequence. Other than that, I'm not really sure, but you can see in the background, there's another head sculpt, I'll highlight it for you. It is uh, the orangey brown color. And I don't know, that looks a little bit beefier, a little more muscular, a little more Herman-esque um, in the sense of an actor who could fit that role. Again, that's just my speculation. Um, that's just my thoughts on this. It's fun to do that. But again, um, I only want to put out confirmed information for you. And then now we move on to this image, which I think is a bit puzzling itself. If you look on the right hand side, it does say demon on it. And of course, I don't know. We, we can keep speculating. Let me know in the comments if any of this rings a bell. Maybe I missed something. Again, we're trying to figure this out and figure out how this relates to the show. Maybe there are other characters that Rob is introducing. I don't know. The only thing I could say for that nose, it could be a grandpa-esque nose. That's just what is calling out to me. This doesn't look like something that would go for Herman. Look at the brows. It just doesn't fit a Frankenstein look. Like I said, for me, it's grandpa, or it could be another character completely. Your thoughts are much appreciated, but I'm really excited for the last slide I'm gonna show you. And that's this one. I think I left the best for last. He put that up there. This is Rob's writing, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. And he is showing us the construction of the actual monster's home. He confirmed this, so I can say that this is going to be the facade, the outside of the Munster's home. And um, remember, there's going to be no plumbing, there's going to be no interiors, at least in this part of the set. This is just the exterior. The interiors will be shot somewhere else completely. This is just the exterior. Now what is great is you can see people who are actively working on the facade. You can see one on the right lower hand side. You can even see two above on the upper end of the Munster's home. And what is great to see is the, the size of this. This is a big sized home, two stories as, as you would expect. So that is very encouraging. Now you could see the curbs and the asphalt leading right directly to the home. Um, so it's like the road leads right up directly to the Munster's home. Um, that might be a little different than what I remember, um, but I, 
I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it so far. I'm okay with what I'm seeing so far. Um, this is something that I make these videos not to say I approve of this or I don't approve of this. It's just calling attention to it, showing it to all of you and leaving it for you to make up your mind. Um, I love the porch. I love that there is a porch there. You can see it's a little bit of a step up. There's going to be stairs going up there. Um, and it's looking pretty good. So hopefully you enjoy this. I'm going to be showing images as they come out, as they are leaked. So thank you so much for supporting. We'll see you next time. If you do want to see more videos just like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe for the channel where I talk about classic TV shows and movies. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. And most importantly, be hopeful. A big thank you especially to my Diamond Tier Patrons, Kevin K, David D, Vito L, Sally N, Citizen Kane 359, Ricky, and Honorary Patreon Verbal Volley. If you want to become a Patreon member, links are down below in the description. Thank you.